Hi, I am Arno Kandel. I'm the chief architect of H2O and this is a demo of H2O 3.0, our latest product. I'm connected to an 8-node cluster on EC2. Each machine has 8 cores and about 12 gigabytes of available memory for us. And I'm going to import a file from S3. That file has 20 years of airport and airline information. And there's a preview. It's a CSV file. It's about 12 gigabytes. It has a bunch of columns here, about 31. And I'm parsing this file now into the memory of the machines of this EC2 cluster. You can look at the CPU utilization using the water meter. You can see that all the nodes are busy ingesting data. And this is memory um, and network bandwidth limited. In this case, it's mostly network bandwidth. So 12 gigabytes take about half a minute to parse. And as a side effect of the parse, you'll also get a summary of the file where you can see all the uh, column information. You see here, all the columns have their types, their um, min max values, the cardinality for categoricals and so on. And you can see that it's 116 million rows and it's compressed to four gigabytes. You can see the compression summary here. Most of the numbers fit into bits or one byte or at most two bytes because they're all short numbers if you want. They're all numbers that have only a few digits of precision. And on, a, on the system here, you can see the, the balancing of the data. Every node has roughly the same amount of data, 14 million rows or so. And um, we're going to use this now to do MapReduce style machine learning algorithms on this data set. First, we'll run a logistic regression model on all the columns that we select here. So year, month, day of month, day of year, the scheduled departure time, because we're going to predict which plane um, from what airport at what time is going to be delayed or not. So that's the response is the departure is delayed. Yes or no, it's a binomial response. And that's it, everything else we can leave at default. So now it's building a GLM model, a generalized linear model, using all the cores of the entire cluster. And the objective value is going down and it's already flatlined there and it's already um, finishing up the computation, computing the metrics such as AUC, confusion matrices and so on. So in only 20 seconds we passed over 116 million rows and we built a model that gave us an AUC of 63. Uh, variable importances, scoring history, quick model summary. This is fully regularized elastic net L1 and L2 penalty. So not just uh, logistic regression, but elastic net. There's more metrics that you can look at. There's an entire table of optimal uh, metrics at different thresholds. And if you're really interested, you can look at the entire ROC curve, all the points. There's also a plain old jo a Java object. This is the actual scoring code that you would need to put this model into production. That comes for free right there as the model is being built. Now we can build another model. We can build a deep learning model on the same data. Again, we pick the same predictors, the time, the scheduled departure time, which airplane carrier, and then also the origin destination. As before, in this case, we're going to use um, a four hidden layer neural net. So it's a deep neural net. That's why we call it deep learning and it's parameterized by the number of hidden layers and by the sizes. In this case, I just use four hidden layers. Everything else is default, except that I only pass over the data once. That's enough to build a reasonably good model because we have enough data. We have 116 million rows. So as it's training right now, and the first thing it does is it reproduces the data everywhere because we had replicate training data set to true. 
We can also disable that, so we save a little uh, network overhead in the beginning, but this will lead to a better model. And now all the machines are busy computing forward and back propagation for the neural net. Every time it dips a little, that's communication. So this is a, a mix between communication and computation. And the default is set that uh, only 2% of the time is spent in communication. There's this option here. Everything else is default. Everything works out of the box. You don't need to standardize anything. You don't need to uh, deal with missing values, categoricals. All of that comes automatically. So now the model we can look at. Deep learning here as it's being built. It's the model with the same key here. You can see that the AOC is already 68 instead of 63, so it's an improvement. There's some improvement between a logistic regression model and a deep learning model. You can see that the accuracy is still improving. Here you can see a quick overview of the model, what are the weights, the biases, and so on. The learning rates are all automatic, adaptive for every single weight. You can look at the metrics again here. And again, there's a POJO that um, has the exact scoring logic hard-coded for this model with all the weights and everything, the full forward propagation logic. Of course, we can also build a gradient boosting machine on the same data set with the same predictors, same response. In this case, I selected 10 trees, maximum depth five, everything else default. This will build a gradient boosting model on all eight machines in parallel. And it's also going to use all the cores of all the servers. And you can see the model will be done in about a minute or so. If you wonder what's happening, you can always press profiler here and see in what code path we are currently. So this is building histograms on all the nodes. Everywhere you look, same code is executed. All right, so the model is going to be done very soon. If you can't wait, you can always click on list all models and then cheat by clicking on here. And you can see that the GPM model after eight trees already has a 66 AOC and it's still going down. So you should be able to get better accuracy if you tune these models. This was just a quick demo to show you that you can do machine learning on uh, commodity clusters on large data sets with interactive visualization and model building. Thank you very much.